Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Living Room Sports. From Bob Pompiani and Rich Walsh is always here. We have two very special guests with us. The outstanding head coach at the University of Pittsburgh, Jeff Capel, along with a man who from Buffalo, New York, came in, dominated Pitt when he was here, Curtis Aiken, who now does broadcast analysis on the Pitt Panther Radio Network. Guys, thanks for joining us, number one. And what in the world are you doing to occupy your time, coach? Start with you. <laughs> Uh, a lot of Zoom meetings that's <laughs> kind of taken over, uh, you know, still first and foremost, trying to make sure my family is healthy and safe. And so just making sure everything is okay there. And then uh, making sure our guys are okay, checking in with them, you know, staying in constant communication with them, our returning guys, our incoming guys, and then doing a lot of recruiting. So on the phone, FaceTime, Zoom, just trying to stay connected as best as we can. So, Curtis, what have you been up to? What have you been working on the last couple months? Got a lot of honey do's done. I'm sure you guys relate to that. Um, yeah, no question. <laughs> but I'm also, uh, you probably can't tell by the Zoom picture, but if you zoom out, you'll see I probably lost about five or six pounds. I've been able to really work. <laughs> I've had a chance to do that uh, prior to this pandemic here. But uh, So it's, it's worked in my favor a little bit, but I'm ready to break loose. Hey, Jeff, you have been here now for two years. How do you like living and working here in the city of Pittsburgh? The very first thing is that my family likes it. So, you know, for me, I'm usually pretty busy through my job. You kind of have a built-in network and a built-in connection. So it was very important for me that my family likes it. My, my, my kids love their school. People have been incredibly friendly. We live right in the city. Uh, so I think that's been really good. We get to experience it. The city offers a lot. I'm a huge sports fan, so you have that, but you also have the culture. Um, there's always something to do. There's great energy here. And so we've been, we've been very, very happy. So you guys are both really good college basketball players. So who would win in one-on-one? -on -one? I didn't know much about Jeff's game. And I think I told him this when we, were, uh, we played against Miami. And uh, uh, for some reason, they had a couple games on. Uh, Duke and Wake Forest, I believe, was the game in particular I was talking about. I got a little more respect for his game than I did prior <laughs> to. You know, obviously I knew he was a great player, but I really zeroed in on him, obviously knowing that he's the pick coach. So I, I watched him a little bit closer, and I, since then I watched a number of his games, and the uh, boy got game. Had game, had game. <laughs> so to answer your question, I don't know. I might be able to get it now. <laughs> <laughs> well. I don't know what kind of range you had, Jeff, I, uh, but Curtis could p launch him from pretty far down. I mean, uh, were you familiar with his game? You know, when you, you got to meet him and everything, did you know about how good he was when he was a pit? Yeah, I actually did. I'm a, you know, I, I love basketball. I love the history of it. And Curtis was in the same class as, as a guy that I'm very, very close with. And they were in the McDonald's All-American uh, game together. He was an assistant at Duke when I played and was the primary recruiter for me, Tommy Amaker was the head coach at Harvard. And uh, T.A. would always talk, even back when I played at Duke, he would talk about, for whatever reason, he would talk about Curtis. He would talk about the McDonald's game. And I remember uh, shortly after I got the job, I, I was talking to Amaker again. And he mentioned like, hey, you need to get to know Curtis. He was a really good player and things like that. So I knew a little bit about him as a player. All right, let's focus on the Pitt Panthers now because two years are in the books. Curtis, you've been there for every game, analyzing it. Coach, I just want to get your sense for, um, you know, it was great this year to see two wins over North Carolina. I know that's not how you define your program, but it indicates, too, that, okay, here we are making progress. Just tell us where it is right now and what your expectations are moving forward. Yeah, you know, I, I thought we, you know, you know, we had an interesting year. I, I thought we took steps as a program where we got better this year. There, there's absolutely no doubt about that. But then there was disappointment in the way we, we, we ended the season. We have to learn how to win consistently, not just sometimes. And I thought what we went through this year, both the highs and the lows, I think will really help us as we move forward. I love our recruiting class. Um, you know, the five guys that we have, the five high school kids are all six, five and taller. <laughs> They all have length. They all have athleticism. They all have really good upside. They're all really good kids. And then the kid we had sitting out, Ithio Horton, had a chance to practice with us last year, had a chance to work, um, had a chance to go against Xavier, Aldis, and those guys every day. 
And I think that will really help him, and I think he'll really help us. All right, guys, thanks very much. Hey, coming up, we have plenty more. When we come back, we're going to talk about a special musical visit by a legend in the music business, and we're going to pick a side. That's all coming up right here on Living Room Sports.